Hello and welcome. I am the anti philosopher. I want to talk today about my views concerning the future of societal organization. I'm coming to believe that the way we view it is no longer working. The way we view it is uh, socialism versus capitalism, uh, private property versus state controlled. Um, planned economy versus free market economy. It seems to me that this is incorrect. Now, I, I've, I'm, I've gotten this view partly from reading the Slovenian philosopher Slavoj Žižek, partly from reading other uh, philosophers and political scientists and just and partly from doing my own thinking and reading and writing on the matter i think one of zizek's points is that uh china is is experiencing a more productive form of capitalism without subsequent de uh, democratic conditions coming into play because uh, historically capitalism and democracy have gone hand in hand he, he thinks that uh, this is no longer the case or will no longer be the case in the near future I think he is probably right. I think if you look at uh, the income inequality, uh, the stark contrast between the first world and the third world, that you begin to see a picture of instability. Now, but this is a bit difficult to talk about because whenever you criticize capitalism, people think, well, obviously, then you're for socialism. You're for state control, the, the, the state controlling the means of production, um, and the state controlling everything, basically. Um, the thought being that the state will wither away at some point. Uh, I guess the, the, the traditional Marxist way of thinking about it, uh, f uh, feudalism turns into capitalism, capitalism turns into socialism, and socialism turns into communism. But it doesn't seem as if history works that way. It seems that uh, you, you get stuck at that socialism stage. Uh, and, and in fact, these... And, no, in fact... Uh, well, you get stuck at the socialism that you get stuck at the socialism stage for a while, and then you revert right back to capitalism. Obviously, the USSR didn't last. Uh, China, is, as as I said, is uh, quite uh, capitalistic in many ways. Cuba is is allowing uh, some private enterprise uh, now. So I don't think socialism is the answer. And now I'm talking about when I say capitalism, socialism, I'm obviously I'm talking about the dictionary definitions, the the, the general way that they are viewed. Obviously, it's debatable what you know what's it mean to be capitalist, what's it mean to be a socialist. It could be that uh, you know capitalism or socialism in a slightly different form is the answer, perhaps. You know, a, a capitalism or a socialism that just wouldn't 
make sense to us because we define them differently. But I think that whatever we call uh, the new system, that's what we're heading towards. We're heading towards some new kind of social organization. I mean, you think about the rise in art auto automation, artificial intelligence, climate change, and yes, climate change is real. Um, the uh, c continuous uh, terrorism, uh, particularly from Islamic sources, although there's terrorism from other sources as well. I mean, it's, it's just the perfect storm. A and it seems to me that it's the perfect storm for uh, more authoritarian governments to come into place perhaps even in uh, you know, liberal free market democracies. Um, now, you know, where does this leave us? I'm not sure exactly. maybe some form of anarchism or mutualism I mean you know I I really I, I don't think we have the answer basically is, is what I have to say about it um, I just don't think capitalism and I don't think capitalism as it's uh, as it's unfolding is sustainable and I think the socialism um, of Marx and Engels and Lenin, Stalin, Trotsky is dead, and, and Castro, and uh, Che Guevara, you know, I think all that's dead, <laughs> and I think that was an answer uh, at, at, to particular problems in capitalism, but it didn't last. Uh, capitalism outlasted uh, that answer, but I think something else is going to have to come along uh, that uh, that does answer the fundamental contradictions in capitalism. If we want to preserve the best of the Enlightenment, you could argue that this problem goes all the way back to the Enlightenment. Uh, a lot of our values that we uh, practice or at least give lip service to go back to the Enlightenment and I think uh, our heritage is beginning to fail us we, we need to we need to figure out what is preservable in the Enlightenment and uh, perhaps look in look at other ways of preserving that from the traditional way we've we've done so Uh, you know, it, this is just uh, me getting my thoughts out there. And, you know, this is be only my second video. This is a start to, I think, my third or fourth channel. Uh, the others have been deleted. Don't bother looking them up. Uh, I hope to keep getting better. Um, but, hey, you got to start somewhere. So, thank you for watching. I'm, I'm trying to think of a catchphrase, actually, but I haven't come up with one yet, so until I come up with one, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Take care.